I'm Hillary Mulek, a wedding photographer based in the Carolinas, and welcome back to another episode on my YouTube channel. Today's topic is going to be how to organize photos in Adobe Lightroom collections. I love the collections feature within Adobe Lightroom. It helps me be more efficient when editing my photos and organizing them within Lightroom, helps me export them a lot more efficiently, and I wanna show you how I use this because it's been such a game changer. All right, so here I have Adobe Lightroom Classic pulled up on my computer. Computer. This is just a fake catalog that I just barely created. And this is actually how I create all my wedding catalogs. I put the date, the couple's name, end it with wedding, and I create a new catalog for every single wedding and session that I shoot because it just makes things so much more organized on my hard drive and it just helps me access each of the catalogs so much easier. So with this, I'm gonna show you how I create collections within Adobe Lightroom. So if I were to upload all of of my wedding images in here after calling them, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here to the collections and I'm gonna create a collection set. So if I add it, click this little add button, it's gonna say create collection set. And I usually just name it the date and the couple. It really doesn't matter what the collection set is called. Perfect. So now you're gonna see this collection set down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create little collections within the collection set. And this is going to help me organize my photos so much faster. So I'm gonna click on this, plus create collection. And all of these collections that I create are just gonna end up right under this collection set. So I'm gonna put getting ready. See that shows up right there. portraits, wedding party, I'll put the wedding party photos in there, family formal photos, then ceremony, you can get the, you can get as detailed as you want with these. I like to just do all major parts of the day, so ceremony, cocktail hour, reception, sometimes Rather than just generic getting ready photos, I'll do, this is the bride getting ready photos, here are the grooms getting ready photos. So it just depends on how many categories you want for your collections. I'll even do, um, a lot of times my second shooters shoot behind the scenes photos of me that I will call and just have here in the Lightroom catalog. So I'll even have a behind the scenes section. Great, and so I love using this because what will happen is when I upload photos in here, I can drag each of the photos in to each of these categories. So let me show you an example of that. All right, so here I have uploaded just some random images from a wedding that I recently shot so that I can show you how I drag these into each of these collections and how this helps me when I edit later and when I edit sneak peeks and all the things. So here, I'm just up here to all photographs. I have 30 photos that are imported in here and I'm just going to start mass selecting images and dragging them into the different collections. So here I'm gonna have a bunch of getting ready photos. First thing, I'm actually going to sort these based on capture time. There we go. So here, these are a bunch of getting ready photos. So this is a mix of the groom getting ready and the bride getting ready. But like I said, if you want to go more specific with your collections, you can have two separate getting ready folders. Just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna have one. So I'm gonna select all of these, drag these into the getting ready folder. And now I can see here, I have five photos in this getting ready folder. And then here's a picture of bridesmaids. So I'm gonna drag that over to wedding party. Here are some ceremony photos. Some family photos. Couple cocktail hour photos. Great. Here are some wedding, a little bit more wedding party photos. So here's like the full wedding party, a couple groomsmen photos. Here's photos of the bride and groom during their portrait session. I'm gonna select those and drag those into portraits. And then if you can see here, this is actually a behind the scenes photo of me with the bride that my second shooter took. So I'm gonna drag that into my behind the scenes folder. Then coming down here, we have some reception photos. 
and we're gonna drag those into reception. So you can see here on the side, I have one behind the scenes photo, four ceremony photos, two cocktail hour photos. You can see all of the numbers of images that are in each of these collections. And then if I go here and just click on this right at the top, I can see right here that there are 30 photos that are within all the collections. So 34 photos within the collection set and then all of those photos are separated in each of these. So after I have dragged all of these into their separate categories, it actually makes editing so much easier and so much more efficient because I can pick certain collections and just edit that. So I don't feel like I have to sit at a computer and edit the whole wedding at once, I can say, oh, I wanna edit all the getting ready photos, or I wanna edit all the portrait photos right now. And it just makes breaking up editing a lot easier. I wanna show you one more thing that I like to do for sneak peek photos. So if you notice, there's not a sneak peek folder on here, but I still have this whole folder selected. So this is the whole collection set. There are 30 photos in here. So I'm gonna go through and just select a few of these photos that I wanna use as sneak peek photos. So I might select this one. I'm gonna hold the command key on my keyboard so I can select just random photos that I would like to include in their sneak peek gallery. Great, I have eight photos selected. So what I like to do is I will come up to the top and just click photo at the top menu and then come down here to color label and I'm gonna color label the, all of these as green you can also click the number eight on your keyboard to do that. So I have these photos that are highlighted as green. I'm gonna go through and just down here at the bottom, click green so that only the green images are showing. I'm gonna select all of these and I'm actually going to create a collection within my collection set that is my sneak peek photos. So these are my edited sneak peeks and I'm gonna drag those in there. So what is gonna happen is if I click edited sneak peeks, I have all of my highlighted green images in here that I'm gonna use as my sneak peeks. But if I go through my individual folders, so let's go to getting ready photos for example, there is a green highlighted image in here and it's the same image that is highlighted here in my sneak peek images. So you can actually have the same image in multiple folders, but if you click here at the top, it's still going to say I have 30 photos total, if that makes sense. So if I go here to my getting ready photos, I can see that I use one of these photos as my sneak peek image. Same as here. Same as here in the reception, I have two photos in my reception category that I've used as sneak peek images. In wedding party, I have three photos that I've used as sneak peek images. So when I'm going through and editing each of these little collections separately, I can see which ones I use as sneak peek images and then just batch those same edits to the rest of the photos within the collection, which just makes editing so much easier, so much more efficient. And actually, this is the system that I use when using an editor as well. So when you are labeling or highlighting certain photos in a certain color, you're actually saying, okay, these are my edited photos that I'm gonna use as anchor images so that when I send this whole catalog to my editor so that she can edit the whole wedding together, she's gonna to look at each of my anchor images or my sneak peek images that I've already edited and say, okay, these are the edits that Hillary liked for this specific section of the day. So for wedding party, for example, she's gonna look at my sneak peek images or my edited images for that folder and just match those edits to the rest of the collection. Just makes editing so much faster. So one last look, this is how I create a collection set and then all the little collections within the collection set to make editing just a lot more efficient, helps organize all of my photos within the wedding and I can easily see which images are my sneak peek images based on the color labels that I use within Adobe Lightroom. Before I let you go, I wanted to let you know about HoneyBook, my client management system. It is a system that I use for all of my client stuff, including sending out proposals, contracts, invoices, collecting payments. I send out questionnaires. I do scheduling through HoneyBook. It's just an all around great feature for client management. If you don't have a client management system already or you're unhappy with the client management system that you currently have, I highly recommend trying HoneyBook. I have a link below where you can get a free trial, trial 
try it for free. And then if you love it, which I'm certain you will because I love it, I've been using it for about seven or eight years now. And if you use the code below, you can get a discount when you sign up for HoneyBook, which is awesome. And I hope you take advantage of that. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you again next week for another YouTube episode. Bye guys.